Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is trigonometry. Friends, as we know, trigonometry is one of the very important topic for all kind of government competitive exams. Let it be SSC, Railway, UPSC, CDS and NDA exams. Friends, in all the exam, more than five questions will be asked from this topic itself. And if you are preparing for central government jobs, then trigonometry is going to play a very important role in your preparation. Friends, I will suggest you to please watch the previous videos on trigonometry so that you will be able to understand the concept and then friends, we will be able to solve the problems very easily. Now friends, the question is, if x is in between 0 to pi by 2, if x is in between 0 to pi by 2 and tan x and tan x plus cot x is equals to 2, then you have to find out the value of sin x. Okay. Now, so friends, tan x plus cot x, so tan x, cot x I can write friends, 1 divided by, 1 divided by tan x x okay 1 divided by tan x is equal to 2 or friends what you can do what you can do tan x you can write 1 by cot x and plus cot x is equals to 2 so friends both the things you can write and proceed it you will be able to get the same answer now friends here you can see if we take lcm then 1 plus cot square x divided by cot x is equals to 2 okay now now friends so cot square x plus 1 will become equal to 2 cot x. Now friends, what you can do, cot square of x minus 2 cot of x plus 1 is equals to 0. Now friends, cot x I will take common, so cot x minus 1. So friends, what you can do, this is a quadratic equation. So instead of writing like this, friends, what you can do, you can, uh, we can uh, factorize it. So cot x minus cot x plus 1 is equal to 0 and friends if you know a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to 0 that means nothing but a minus b square is equal to 0. So friends here you can write cot x minus 1 will be equal to 0. Okay. So friends cot x minus 1 will be equal to 0. So cot x will be nothing but equal to 1. Okay cot x will be nothing but equal to 1 and friends you have to get sin x. So somehow friends we are going to convert this in form of cos x and from there we will be able to calculate sin x. So friends cot x so what I will do making a square a squaring on both side a squaring on both side. So friends cot square x will be equal to 1. Now I will add 1 on both the side. I will add 1 on both the side. So friends I will tell you why we are doing like that. So friends 1 plus cot square theta 1 plus cot square theta will be equal to cosec square theta this we have already learned in the trigonometric identities. So friends this will be nothing but cosec square theta is equals to 2. Now sin square theta will be nothing but 1 by 2. Friends sin theta will be 1 by root 2. Friends sin theta and 1 by root 2 will be nothing but sin 45 degree. Okay. So friends basically here they are asking the value of sin x. So here uh, it was x. So here it was x. So sin x will be nothing but 1 divided by root 2 and option C will be the correct answer for this particular question. And this was one of the important question what you can get in trigonometry. Moving towards the question number 2 friends. Friends, the value of sin 43 divided by cot, cos 47 plus cos 19 by sin 71 minus 8 cos square 60 degree. Now friends, the, again this is a, this is a complementary, complementary pairs question. Now, how we are going to solve, let's see. So friends, sin 43 degree, keep it like this and friends, cos 47 degree, I can also write cos 90 minus 43 degree. This sin 43 degree you can also write so again sin 43 degree and friends again by using by using trigonometric identities i can write sin uh, by using complementary pairs i can write sin 71 divided by sin 71 degree minus 8 cos 60 so what will be cos 30 will be nothing but friends root 3 by 2 and cos 60 degree will be nothing but 1 by 2. So 8 into 1 by 2 square, 8 into 1 by 2 square. Okay friends, now, so this will be 1 plus this will be 1 minus 8 into 1 by 4. So 2 minus 2 will be equal to 0. That means option 2 will be the correct answer for the given question number 2. Now friends, moving towards question number 3. 
तो फ्रेंड्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो फ्रेंड्स बेसिकली साइन स्क्वायर फाइव डिग्री प्लस साइन स्क्वायर टेन डिग्री प्लस साइन स्क्वायर फिफ्टीन डिग्री सो ऑन प्लस साइन स्क्वायर एटी फाइव डिग्री प्लस साइन स्क्वायर नाइन्टी डिग्री सो फ्रेंड्स हाउ मेनी टर्म्स विल बी देर नाउ फ्रेंड्स हाउ मेनी टर्म्स विल बी देर सो फ्रेंड्स नाइन्टी डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव दैट मीन्स टोटल एटीन टर्म्स विल बी देर ओके नाउ टोटल एटीन टर्म्स विल बी देर नाउ फ्रेंड्स लेट सर्च फॉर द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री लेट सर्च फॉर द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री पेयर्स ओके नाउ फ्रेंड्स यू सी साइन स्क्वायर फाइव डिग्री प्लस साइन स्क्वायर एटी फाइव डिग्री ओके सो फ्रेंड्स बेसिकली इफ यू विल सी सो दिस लाइक दिस वी विल बी एबल टू फॉर्म लाइक दिस विल बी एबल टू फॉर्म द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री पेयर्स ओके सो फ्रेंड्स एंड हाउ मेनी एंड हाउ मेनी टर्म्स विल रिमेन सिंगल सो फ्रेंड्स वन साइन स्क्वायर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री विल नॉट गेट एनी पेयर एंड फ्रेंड्स साइन स्क्वायर नाइन्टी डिग्री ऑल्सो विल नॉट गेट एनी पेयर वाई फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज साइन स्क्वायर नाइन्टी शुड गेट ए पेयर विथ साइन स्क्वायर जीरो डिग्री बट दे हैव स्टार्टेड विथ साइन स्क्वायर फाइव डिग्री एंड फ्रेंड्स साइन स्क्वायर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री विल बी ओनली वन टर्म हियर सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैड टोटल एटीन टर्म आउट ऑफ एटीन माइनस टू आउट ऑफ एटीन माइनस टू दैट मीन्स सिक्सटीन टर्म्स विल बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ पेयर सो वी विल हैव एट पेयर्स एंड प्लस साइन स्क्वायर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री and plus sin square 90 degree now what is the meaning of pair so this is one pair friends okay so sin square 5 degree plus sin square 85 degree now this sin 85 degree friends you can also write sin 90 minus 5 degree which is nothing but cos 5 degree so friends this i can also write sin square 5 degree plus cos square 5 degree which will be nothing but 1 so friends eight pair means we will have we will have 1 plus 1 plus 1 Till eighth term, and plus sine square forty five degree will be one by two. Sine forty five is one by root two, so sine square forty five degree one will be one by two, and sine zero is zero. Sine ninety is one, so one square will be one. Now eight plus one plus one by two, so nine plus point five, or nine plus or nine plus one by two. We can also write nine one by two nine and half. So option four will be the correct answer for the question number three. So friends, all three questions for the today's session were very important. And friends, now you should and must be able to solve the question based on the complementary pairs. So friends, thanks a lot for watching the video. 